So, what are you cooking? Ah, I'm fire grilling of all fire grilled steak. Dude, you know that is a microwave meal, right? You're not even grilling it, you've just set it on fire. Oh, today I will be reviewing of all fire grilled steak. This has got a lot more than steak in it. It looks like it's got uh, rice, beans, peppers, some other stuff. So, it'll be interesting. I imagine, like all the other Evol stuff, it's gonna be a lot less than what this bowl looks like it's got to offer. But we'll see. Uh, 450 calories, a good chunk of calories there. 28% for total fat, 18% for saturated fat. Uh, not great, but not terrible for 450 calories. 10% cholesterol, 25% cholesterol, for sodium. Would say that's a bit much, but assuming a 2,000 calorie diet, this is almost one-fourth of that, so not too bad. 16% carbs and 18 grams of protein. Not bad, actually. Not terrible. Slightly fatty, maybe a little bit salty. Otherwise, okay. Now, wait the instructions. Remove bowl from carton and cut one inch slit in film. This is exactly the same as all the other ones. On high for three minutes and 30 seconds. Let's stand for one minute. Remove film and stir gently. So pretty easy, like a typical Evol bowl thing. Um, actually this looks like a, a good amount. You've got the greens in the center. Um, a whole bunch of beef on the outside and you got the various different vegetables all around. I'll use this to do our one inch thing. I think that's about an inch here. Uh, you can, whatever, you can't see it. But I did estimating an inch. So now I'll cook this up for like three minutes, 30 seconds and be back in like five minutes. I have returned. So we've got our finished product here. Uh, it's got a lot of black beans, rice, decent amount of steak, uh, some other stuff. Doesn't have nearly as much in terms of the bell peppers, but who really who really cares about that? I will say though, it smells like bell peppers. Like, while it was cooking, I could smell the bell peppers cooking. It was very strong. Oh, uh, looks all right though. About the same. No problems there. Yeah, a lot of beans and rice. And we got uh, stuff like this. Huh. Beans and rice are fine. They remind me uh, kind of of uh, Hispanic dishes of beans and rice, black beans and, and white rice. Now the steak, the steak isn't the greatest steak. It's a little chewy, probably a little well done, which is to be expected, I guess, of a microwave meal steak. Uh, this also does have that hint of lime that I think one of the others had. You can really sort of taste that, uh, it's got this sort of lime sauce on it. It's not too strong, but you can tell it's there. Yeah, everything else is decent. You've got a, a little bit of corn, a little bit of, uh, well, a lot of beans and a lot of rice. A little bit of the, uh, ah, well, we'll have some of this. I assume this is red bell pepper. Yeah. This, the box also claims that it has cheddar cheese. I don't taste any cheese, I'm gonna be honest. You can't really tell that there's cheese. But overall, the mix is, is all right. The biggest things in it, though, are the, uh, the beans and rice with a little bit of meat, and then you can tell that the, uh, the lime sauce is there. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good mix. The steak's a little disappointing, but what are, are you gonna expect from microwave steak? And I guess for microwave meal meat, it's pretty good. It is better than a lot of chicken nugget stuff, but I don't think it's as good as some of the uh, the other uh, uh, chicken that I've had, or like grilled chicken or something. I think the those can come out a lot better than this. I do like the lime uh, lime uh, lime sauce though. It's not uh, not too overpowering, but it, it, I feel like it really adds adds something. And uh, the beans and rice just take, taste like normal beans and rice. Everything else just seems kind of uh, uh, like they add a little bit of their flavor in there. So I, I guess that's, uh, that's all I need to figure out my views on this. I'm going to give it uh, 
I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's pretty good. The main complaint would be that the steak is a little disappointing for steak, but it is steak, I think, or I'm just stupid, which is uh, another possibility. But I think it is actual steak. Pretty sure it is well done. A little chewy and tough. But the rest of everything is fine. It's not the most interesting meal I've had, but I think it's it's good enough. It, this would probably be a lot better fresh, not microwaved. But for something that's microwaved, I think it's pretty good. 8 out of 10. It is very beans and ricey though. If you don't enjoy uh, black beans and rice, you're not going to enjoy this, because this is basically black beans and rice plus bonus stuff. The box does... Uh, no! The box does kind of show that, but it, it really is like beans and rice plus uh, some other vegetables and a, and a sauce and some meat. But gotta really like black beans and rice or uh, this is going to be awful. But I do, so this is fine. Thank you for watching. 8 out of 10. See ya. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, in this outro, I uh, still have this bag from my, on my desk from when I reviewed it a super long time ago. I think I reviewed it. Whatever, we're gonna throw it away. It had one piece of candy left. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a re-review. This is Black Cherry, by the way. Re-review of Warhead's plant. Oh, it's melted. Ugh. Okay, this is this is gross. All right, it's melted and stuck to the plastic. Luckily, this plastic is not falling off. All right. Oh, I already. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. A little. Mm. And we're done. Okay. So it was pretty sour for a little bit there, and then not. Now it just is uh, kind of sweet, but it's still got a little bit of the sour taste there. Honestly, it just hits you initially kind of hard, but then it stops after like five seconds, and it just becomes a, uh, a sweet, artificially flavored, sucky candy. I guess that's it for this outro. I'm gonna have to go brush my teeth after this. See ya.